Hello and welcome back once again to the McDrone Guy YouTube channel. Today we're looking at the DJI Maps, how to access them using a Wi-Fi hotspot, how to download them as offline maps and why it's beneficial to have them. I'm going to be using the RC2 controller for this, however if you're using an RCN controller along with a mobile phone and a DJI Fly app this is also relevant. And likewise, if you're using the first incarnation RC controller, you might also find this useful. So let's crack on with the video. The first thing we need to do is connect to the drone. I don't have the drone in the air during this, but it's not necessary to do so for me to show you this demonstration. If you tap on the map icon in the bottom left, it will open up to full screen. At this point, I don't have an internet connection for the controller, and because of this, if I zoom in on the standard map, you'll see that street names are not populated. Also, if I change to satellite view, you'll see that street names aren't populated and the image is blurry with no detail of the terrain. So there's two ways to rectify this, the first being the easiest and most convenient way, which is to use your mobile phone as a Wi-Fi hotspot. So once you've turned your Wi-Fi hotspot on on your mobile, it's as simple as connecting to that with your controller. To do that, you need to go into the Wi-Fi settings and to get in there, you just press and hold the Wi-Fi tab on this screen here. That will take you to this screen where it will show you a list of available networks stick your password in to connect to your Wi-Fi hotspot on your phone, hit the little blue tick and it connects straight away. Once you've done that we can go back into the maps and you'll see now that the map fully populates with street names and if we go into the satellite view you'll see that you've got detailed terrain and street names also. This is also extremely helpful if you ever need to use the find my drone function and you'll see that noted in the bottom right corner of the screen here. I'm not going to go into that on this video, that will be a separate video where I'll show you how to use the find my drone function but there's a couple of cracking features in that. Um, so that will be coming soon hopefully. But anyway, onward and upwards with this one. So let's move on to the second way to get maps on your controller. So for this your drone doesn't need to be turned on, you just need your controller and you need it connected to your home Wi-Fi. Once it's connected, which you will see here, you then go into profile and from there you go into offline maps. Now it's just a case of moving the screen around to where you are going to be flying your drone Select that area by zooming in, pinching the screen with two fingers and it's the highlighted box in the middle which is the area that will download. Once you've selected the relevant area that you want, you then tap the little download icon next to where it tells you the size of the file. That will then give you the option to create a name for your downloaded map. And once you've named it, tap on the blue tick and then you'll see the download status at the bottom. It will then tell you it's downloaded. Once that's happened, you can go into downloads and it will show you a list of your downloaded offline maps. If you wanted to delete one of these, all you have to do is tap on the three little dots. This brings up either delete or rename and just hit delete. It's as simple as that. Once you then go to that area with your drone and you've got it up in the air, you don't need to have your drone connected to your Wi-Fi hotspot on your phone because the map will already be there loaded for you. So, why is it beneficial to have these maps when you're out flying your drone? Well, first off, if you lose your drone, it's really beneficial and really helpful if you can look at the terrain round about to help you find your drone. It also helps with improved navigation and orientation, which allows you to understand your drone's position relative to its surroundings. It helps with mission planning for waypoints missions or automated flights and it gives you better situational awareness meaning you can see no fly zones, nearby airports or restricted areas meaning that you ensure 
safe and legal operation of your drone. It also provides real-time tracking, with the map providing a live visual of the drone's flight path and movement. I really hope this video has been helpful, and if you did find anything in it useful, please hit the like and subscribe as it really does help. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.